All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another Gore's recent game pickups video. And it has not even been a week since my last update. So you're welcome. <laughs> Because usually it takes me a long time to make these. Uh, not that it takes me a long time to make them. They're easy to make. It just takes a long time for me to decide to do one. Because I'm lazy. So I'm here. Not even a week later. Six days later. So thank you. Send, put a thank in the chat. One thank. Not a thanks. Just put one thank um, in, the, in the chat. In the comments. Whatever. You know what I mean. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is not going to be a, a really long episode. At least I don't think it will be. Because I don't really have a ton of stuff to show. I got some sweet stuff to show. That's for sure. Um, but besides the sweet stuff, there's not much of it. There's only some sweet stuff. Usually I have a lot of sweet stuff. This time I only got a little bit. So I went to uh, a couple of thrift stores in the last week. Which was an experience. That's for sure. Put the mask on. Put the gloves on. Which is, by the way, if you're going to a thrift store, even if there was no virus going on, you should always wear gloves anyway. Because touching the stuff is disgusting. You know, people wiping their noses and putting it freaking on whatever the hell they're touching. It's just sneezing and then going, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a DVD. I've never seen one of these before. And then put it down. Um, so it's, it's, it's just gross either way. And you, you feel way more comfortable with gloves. Because you, then you're just like, I'll touch the shit out of this. I don't care. The gloves are taking the disease, not me. Um, just don't touch your face after. Like, oh, cool. Now, what does my face feel like? Oh, it's a face. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> it's no, don't do it. Um, but anyway... Uh, yeah, I went to a few thrift stores and I got some stuff to show on the camera video. Uh, I also got a Macari pickup. I know it's pronounced Macari. I'm going to call it Mercury though, because I know that upsets somebody. And that person that is upset that I'm calling it Mercury, even though it's pronounced Macari, makes me happy. So I'm going to say Mer uh, Mercury for now on. So I got a pickup from Mercury. It's actually this thing right here. So obviously it's not a video game. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, but I also got a couple of really awesome uh, bundle deals from OfferUp, and I can't wait to get to that. So let's get to it. You know, let's start off with the Mercury pickup. Yeah, Mercury. No, Macar. Yeah, Mercury. Mercury. I, I, I got it right. <laughs> anyway, this is something I saw, and I immediately, I immediately wanted it. He, had, he was asking for a lot of money, though. Um, this was an official print from, a, from the show that this is based on uh here's a hint it's related to something in the background i already said a show and almost everything in the background is a video game besides one thing so you already know what it's for uh <laughs> yeah, maybe i shouldn't have said that but what is that get that paper out of here you're, you're blocking my yeah whatever um and this print I needed, so I spent way too much on it. I'm not, I'm not, I don't even feel like I want to say how much I spent on this. But it looks awesome, and it's way bigger than I thought it was. I, I thought it was going to be like 11 by 17. This is, uh, I believe, 28 by 16, I think. So it's way bigger than I thought it was, um, or was going to be. And uh, I do want to get it framed, but I want to get a decent frame for it. And it costs a lot of money for those. Like, seven, 11 by 17, a decent frame at, like, Walmart. You can get, like, one for 10 bucks. That one right there is a decent one. I got that one for, I think I think I got that one for 8 actually. So that, that one's good for that Red Dead Redemption signed photo. So, this, what is it? You probably already know because I said it's a show. But it is an art print for Samurai Jack. You can't even tell it's Samurai Jack, can you? Well, there you go. There's one of the daughters of Aku right there. Look at that. Ah, oh, I love that art print. I love the way it looks. And this is this was sold on the Adult Swim store. Here, I'll hold it up for a little bit longer. Um, and it, it sold out super quick. There was three different types you could get. You can get this, and you get two that actually featured Samurai Jack. Now, I already have a poster with Samurai Jack there. I have a thing right here. You can barely see it. You can kind of see it right there. Uh, that features Samurai Jack. I also have a little print right there. You can barely see that one too with Samurai Jack and the Wolf from Season 5. Um, so having one with no Samurai Jack on it, I also have the Funko Pops. So I have plenty of Samurai Jack to go. So this is actually kind of cool that it's, it's, it's just like a nice little environmental shot, which Samurai Jack is all about the environmental, uh, I guess, imagery and artistry. Um, that goes into it so that's really cool i really wanted that now i just need to find a frame and uh i don't feel at liberty to say how much i spent for it because i spent on it because i believe this is what mighty gazelle said who is a youtuber go check him out because he bought one of these when they were on sale during the adult swim store when they were selling them supposedly he said they were only 10 bucks so i spent more than 10 bucks let's just say that but they're extremely hard to find because i think they only had 
they didn't have too many of them. Uh, I will admit though, the other two art prints besides this one, the two other variants were better. But this one's nice. I, I like it. I'm not gonna complain. Even though I spent a lot. <laughs> More than 10, not as much as a, a hundred. I'll just say that. Anyway, um, let's get to the games because I mean I got some good ones. Let's start with a banger. This is this probably is game of the year. It didn't come out this year, but if it did, it would be game of the year. All these games coming out this year, Final Fantasy, you can suck it. Last of Us, blow me. Doom, you know what? Doom can blow me too. This game is definitely the best, and I just realized this is actually sealed. That's weird, because I bought this used off uh, of GameStop. And that game, of course, is Garfield Kart. You goddamn right I did it. I bought the shit out of this. Can I just say one thing? They were selling this for $6. And GameStop does not do free shipping unless you pay up to $35. I mean, not up to... When you get to $35, you get free shipping, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I didn't see anything else I, bought, I wanted to buy, but I really wanted this. So I paid the four dollar shipping. So I I, pay, I spent ten bucks on this. I shouldn't have did it because I think you can get it for ten bucks anywhere else. But I was like, you know what? I'm feeling the need, the need for speed. Garfield. Anyway, cart Furious Racing. It's called by the way. Because uh, I guess there was another Garfield cart. Oh gosh. Oh. Anyway, isn't that a great box art? I'm sure that's a great game. It does have online multiplayer, which I I was very surprised to hear about. I'm sure it's alive and kicking right now. But uh, six bucks, I believe it came out like late last year, so it being six bu bucks already is a uh, pretty cool. Um, not as quick as a, uh, not as steep as a drop. Is that is that correct English? Uh, as a uh, Bleeding Edge though. Bleeding Edge was like a game that just came out a couple months ago, and it was it's already five bucks at Best Buy. But uh, whatever, Garfield card, I got it, and it is sealed. Like I said, like the, the, there is a seal there. There's no plastic around it, but it is sealed. I didn't realize that. Next, uh, I actually ordered this when I ordered all those Xbox One games in the last episode, uh, and this one didn't show up. I actually completely forgot about this one. And that is Overcooked 1 and 2, so you got both of them. Got both, baby. I already have the second one, I think, disc. So I think I might... I forgot. They didn't put it in the, the disc tray. Um, so I think I might get rid of the second one. I don't know. I mean, I collect Xbox One games, so I'll probably keep it. But, uh... I don't know. Do I need du duplicates? I, it does count its own as its own game. It is its own release, so I'll probably keep it. Honestly, I should just put it in its spindle. But I was lazy. All right, so let's get to a couple of the offer up pickups. This one was pretty good. I spent twenty bucks on this, and it's pretty good considering what I got. Uh, two, three, two, three, sixty games. Both of them, I'm probably good. I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm probably going to get rid of. Excuse me, I'm stroking out today. Uh, and this is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13, which I think is only like a $10, $15 game. So you know the next one's going to be way more expensive than that if I spent 20 bucks on these. Uh, and you would be correct because that game is NCAA Football. I fucking wish 14. No, 13. 13, if you do not know. Shit, if you don't know, 14 is worth a lot of money, but 13 is actually worth quite a bit too. Shit, 12 I think is a $20 game. It's just as it goes down the list of numbers, they of course get lower and lower in value, but this game's worth like 40 bucks. So right there, 40 and then like a 10, let's say a $10 game, $50 of value for 20 bucks. Shit, you know I'm getting them deals. And it did come complete, as complete as it possibly could. Don't take my code, by the way. I will call the cops. Um, but yeah, there you go. NCAA Football 13. If it was 14, ooh, good deal. I actually have NCAA 14, and I every time I look at it, I'm like, you know what? I'll, I really want to collect 360 games, but I, I look at that football game, a game I will never fucking play ever, and I keep considering selling it because <laughs> it's one of those games like I could sell it right now for like 130, 40 bucks. Easy. It's complete. The disc has like some light scratches, but not too bad. Um, I could easily sell it for like at least 120 bucks. Every time I look at it, I'm like, that's easy money right there. That could be used for shit I actually want. I don't know. But it is a game that's very rare, and I do collect 360, so I'm just like, eh. But it's a game I don't I don't give a fuck about. You know what I mean? It's like CW totally Fort. That why would I give a shit? I don't play football anything. The last football game I played a lot of was Madden 04. Like, 
Which, by the way, is that the one that won Game of the Year at the Spike Awards? Or was it 05? I can't remember. Anyway, next... Uh, you know what? I'm going to save... Mm, you know what? I'm not going to, because most likely I'm going to title the video after this a lot, so I might as well just show it now. <laughs> so we're just going to show it now. All right, so... Someone was selling a bunch of PS3 games for super expensive. I think they were selling like 70 of them for like 500 bucks or something like that. And I was like, ooh. And so I messaged them. I always do this anyway, even if a price is really crazy. Because a lot of them that weren't worth a lot of money. Um, but there were some that were definitely worth money. Um, so I was like, hey, would you do these games separately? And then they're like, sure, send me an offer. So I was just like, 50 bucks? <laughs> and they're like, sure. I was like, really? Okay, okay. Shit, they didn't do their research, uh, which is fine with me, um, because I got a good deal. So after tax and stuff, it's I think it was around sixty-two I paid, um, and I got four games. Um, the first one will pay for the entire lot for sure, uh, even though it has some damage to the cover art. Most likely, I'll pay for almost the entire thing just from this game, and that is Metal Gear Solid: The Legacy Collection. Now this isn't the HD collection. No, no, no. The HD collection is worth like 30 bucks. Still pretty good. Something just fell. Um, but this is the Legacy Collection, meaning it comes with the first game too, and the second game, and the third game, and the fourth game. But uh, actually, it says on the back what it comes with. It comes with oh, it comes with all of them. It comes with the original two Metal Gear games, then Metal Gear Solid, then the VR missions from Metal Gear Solid, then of course two, three, four, Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid Bande Destiny and Metal Gear Solid 2 Bande Destiny comes with those um, and uh, yeah all in like a three disc pack I think it's three no it's just two discs yeah two discs I think one of them I think hold on no these are all on there I was about to say I think I think like one or two of them are like DLCs but it says they're all on the disc so this first disc has everything from Metal Gear all the way to Metal Gear Solid 2, and then the second disc, of course, has Metal Gear Solid 4, um, and uh, I guess 3? No, oh, no, this has everything except 4, and the second disc has 4, which is funny. So this, uh, this disc alone right here is probably worth way more than half of what it's worth disc only, I bet, because 4 you can get... For fucking what, like, like five bucks anywhere. Um, but as you may have noticed, it did come with a Metal Gear Solid HD Collection manual, which is not supposed to be included. At least I don't think so. Um, it does come with the regular manual too, but it comes with this manual. Um, so that's kind of cool. So if I ever get a HD Collection manual or a game that has no manual, then now I got the manual. Even though I think I'm probably going to sell this together with this, just as like a bonus thing, like, hey, go with this manual, babe, it's a $30 game, you get in the manual, I can complete your $30 game, make it $30. But anyway, that right there, 60 65 easy. Now the next three games, as you may have seen from the, the title, because I like the clickbait, uh, are three games that are definitely worth money and I'm definitely I'm just making a I'm pretty much making a uh, profit on these three games so the first one is Silent Hill Downpour that's a 20 25 dollar game of course Silent Hill games go for a lot especially now and this one is complete the case itself has some issues but not too bad looks pretty good disc is mint it's a blu-ray so yeah Silent Hill Homecoming hell yeah this game sucks but <laughs> it comes with the book. this game doesn't suck I know a lot of people don't like it I kind of like it. I don't know. The combat's lame. Uh, you could cheese the shit out of enemies. I remember that. But I, I liked it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. And then, of course, Silent Hill HD Collection. That goes for like 30 bucks right there. Um, yeah. The less said about this compilation, the better. But you know what? If you're a giant Silent Hill fan, then having these three, that's good money right there. Or I guess not good money if you're just collecting them. But that's good money <laughs> that you're paying for them. Um, but anyway, there you go. That's a, the Silent Hill lot. I thought that was good. For 62 I think. I, I can't remember. I have to look. It was $7 shipping. I think it was like 60 Maybe it was $63. Um, but whatever. Either way, Metal Gear Solid will pay for that. Or the Silent Hill games will pay for it. And then whatever. I'm making profit either way. Alright. So now let me show you my thrift store pickups. And then we can get the fuck out of here. Alright. I just picked these up today. Uh, I spent 30 bucks. So I hope this shit was worth it. Um, I think it will be. I think some of these will. Uh, a couple of these aren't video games. 
but we'll show them anyway. Because um, I, I don't only show video games. Obviously, I already showed the Samurai Jack thing. But for a dollar eighty, it's not bad. It's like a twenty dollar uh, game right here. The Godfather Mob Wars. They had this in their little cabinet thing where they they lock it up and stuff. It's like their showpiece cabinet or whatever and they had a bunch of shit in there but they had a couple good things this was one of them and this is complete because of the manual and it's in really nice condition too don't worry i disinfected everything that i bought today which is really annoying because i bought a couple of books so <laughs> when i'm wiping it down i'm just like oh god thank god they're one of them is a hardcover because this would suck but um luckily those books i'm keeping so i'm not selling them so Anyway, uh, that was good. 20 bucks right there. That's 20 bucks recouped if I do end up selling it, which most likely I will. I do collect PSP games, but that one is kind of like a, like, you know, like a, I love Godfather. I love the movie, of course. The movies, the two. There's only two of them. Uh, the third one's not bad. I, I shouldn't say that. The third one's fine. Uh, the, the first two, obviously, are fucking perfect. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, speaking of movies... Got this one, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. This one was, I think, a dollar eighty. Also, they they because they had um I should say it was three sixty, but uh, they had half off a lot of stuff. They had a bunch of stickers half off. So a dollar eighty for this. This is a Steelbook DVD. If you didn't know those existed, they do. Obviously, uh, obviously there's way more Blu-ray Steelbooks than there are DVD ones, but. DVD ones are cool. They also had a Fight Club one, but it was like it was like jacked up, so I didn't get it. It's not really worth that much. This one's not worth too much. I paid a dollar eighty. Like I could probably sell it for like twelve bucks, recoup money. So if I do sell these two right here, that would recoup all my money and everything else will be free. But I will be selling other stuff. Next one, you're probably be like, what the hell? Drop Dead Fred, baby. Hell yeah. You know what? When I was a kid, I loved this movie. I don't know why I did. Um, I paid four bucks for this one because I knew it was a, an out of print DVD. It used to sell for like 40, 50 bucks. And I actually sold one for 40 bucks uh, a couple years ago. Now it doesn't go for as much. I think it goes for like 15. This one has some issues with the with the case. So I'd probably sell this one for 12 as well. Still making a profit, but a little bit less than I thought. Um, next thing, this is another DVD. I actually have this. So I, when I saw it, I was like, I know this goes for like at least 20 bucks. Uh, and I already have it, so buying it, I don't feel bad about selling it. Uh, and that is the DVD collection for Trigun, which is one of my favorite animes. So good. Highly recommend this one. Cost me nine bucks. It wasn't half off. It's just nine bucks right there. Um, one of my favorites. Highly recommend this one. And it comes with all of this. It's in really good condition, too. I don't know if you can tell. But um, look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this anime. It's great. I love this compilation. Or, uh, no, not compilation. I guess box set. It's really good. It's a really good box set. I already have this one. So, there you go. All right, and the last two things I got, I saw both of these, and I was like, oh, my God, I need those. Because I do collect strategy guides, but I'm trying to dwindle down on my strategy guides because I have a lot of ones I don't want. Um, but these two are definitely two I definitely wanted uh, for the collection. The first one is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This is for the GameCube, of course. Uh, I paid, I think, like $250 for this one. So, no, it was like $280, I think. Which is cool. I mean, it's not an expensive strategy guide. I think it's like tops like $15. Bucks. But uh, it's really cool. I really like that, and I love that game. So, add it to the strategy guide collection. And the last... Thing I picked up and I thought this was so awesome obviously somebody who does the pricing also thought that because they priced it at $19 now luckily it was half off so I paid $9.50 for it and that is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater the limited edition strategy guide which I think if it come if it's complete goes for around 20 25 bucks but I'm probably gonna keep this because this is really nice and it does come complete by the way so it has let me show you good it has this book they're both kind of attached this one I could take out, actually. That's not true. This one right here. And it comes with this one. This one's attached, which is cool. So, there you go. You can see. Is that Huey? There you go. I don't know. And then you got... Yes. Look how nice that looks. That looks brand new, baby. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. For $9.50, not bad for that. At all. Metal Gear Solid 3... I never finished it myself, but I did a, a full, uh, like, watch, <laughs> not a playthrough. Oh, it does come with the poster, too. I actually realized that. That's cool. 
uh, still in there, baby. I wonder if that makes it worth a little bit more. Probably not. Um, usually when I get strategy guides, like that Legend of Zelda one says it has a big poster and it, it didn't include it, so because it's used, and I'm sure people actually use the posters as posters. Um, so I usually just figure the posters aren't there, but this time the poster was there, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, so 950 for that, I'll pay that. And uh, I mean, I'll, I'm pretty much getting it for free after I sell Trigun, Drop Dead Fred, Godfather, if I do sell that, and Harry Potter. Make a little extra money, keep those strategy guides, that's how you do it. Keep your money, sell, and make the money. <laughs> That's it. So anyway, this is a shorter episode, like 20 minutes. That's not bad. Um, there you go. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. I love you. And uh, leave a thank in the comments. Remember that dumb fucking bit? <laughs> I remember it. Bye.